Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean and sanitize your hairbrush and your combs fast and easy. This channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women and busy people. So let's jump into it. If you are new here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and in the description box I have an entire playlist about how to clean and organize pretty much everything. So check that out. Here's what we have here. We have two hairbrushes. This one is the worst. Let's see if my camera will pick it up here. Yes, it's disgusting. Hold on, out of focus. Oh yeah, guys, there it is. Look at that. That's pretty gross. Look at the lint in there, really. I know, but we wanna sanitize them as well. And those are my kids and then the combs. It's amazing how many microbes and microorganisms can accumulate on there. So here's what we got. We got a tweezers. You could use a pen. I'll show you what we're gonna do here in a second. I like the tweezers because of the sharp end that it's got here. And then I got some shampoo. This is my kid's shampoo and you can really use anything. I like to use this because it's more gentle and, um, but really you can use anything. And then we're gonna have a little tub here. So what we're gonna do the first thing is I'm gonna clean up the brushes with this, get all the hair and gunk out. And then we're gonna put hot, hot water in here with some of the soap and we're gonna let it soak for a little while, let everything um, get out of the brush as best as it possibly can, really loosen things up. And then I will show you the next step here. And last but not least, I'll show you how to disinfect it because cleaning it is one thing, but I think it's important to disinfect as well. It's kind of like cleaning your countertops, you can wipe them down, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you've killed any sort of bacteria. So I'll show you how to do that, so stay tuned. I got most of the hair out. This one isn't bad. This is my daughter's. We're gonna put that in the pile here. And this one is mine. You may be asking yourself, why is it looped? It's because I have beaded hair extensions and so that um, these bristles don't grab the extensions, that's why they're looped like that. So uh, you can see most of the hair is out, but there's lint still stuck in there and that is what this hot water bath is gonna help do. So I'm actually gonna flip these upside down and get some hot sap water, hot, hot, oh my gosh, hot, hot water. Don't mind my sink, you guys, it's disgusting. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my shampoo, and I'm just gonna put, you know, not a lot, I would say about dime size, quarter size amount in there. Let them soak, fill that up. Perfect, and I like using this because it really, this uh, rectangular sized Tupperware here, so it really lets them sit in there nicely and gets it all. So I'm gonna let this soak for about 15, 20 minutes and then we'll come back here and rinse everything out and then I'll show you one of my final steps. These have been soaking for about 15, 20 minutes. Now we're gonna rinse them off really well and then move on and I'll show you the magic. So now that everything has been loosened up here, you can see a lot of that lint ha came out already. I'm just gonna go back in with my tweezers and just get the rest of it out. Now you could use a toothbrush if you wanted, but I feel like this, the tweezers is just better. It's really hard to get a toothbrush inside of these little bristles. Maybe it's just my particular brush, but I'm gonna get the rest of this out and then we'll move on to our disinfecting step.
let's take a peek here. And yes, that is very disgusting. I just, it works better when you use your fingernails to pull that out rather than a toothbrush. You try for yourself and let me know what you think. But that is looking so much better. There's a few stragglers left in there, but we're not gonna get crazy about that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to rinse this out. Let's do that really quick. And then I'm gonna set everything in here again. And then we're gonna take the magic, the magic potion here. <laughs> Just kidding. Put all those in there. And I'm going to grab some rubbing alcohol. I just put it in a clear bottle like this. This is 70% rubbing alcohol. And so I'm going to spray everything down because this is what's gonna really disinfect. Perfect. Now I'm gonna let this soak for about 15, 20 minutes and then we will come back, rinse them off. Since I use this tweezer here, I want to sanitize that as well. So we're gonna let that sit in there. In fact, I have a whole video right here where I share 15 different uses for rubbing alcohol around your home. So that will be linked in that playlist in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. So I'll meet you back here in about 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and just take some hot water here and rinse everything off. I flip my towel over and I will let it dry and these should be dry. The combs will be dry pretty quickly. I mean, you could hand dry those and just put them back in your drawers or wherever you keep them. But the brushes themselves, they usually dry within an hour or two. But I love this method. It is so easy. Not only does it clean it, lift the lint, help you get all the hair out very well, but it also disinfects it because that is really, really important. And I haven't had any issues with the rubbing alcohol on these particular types of brushes before so let me know in the description box below have you tried this method before um i would love to hear what sort of things that you do as well to clean your hair brushes and your combs because i know this is something that can be super easy to forget and put off and then you just keep looking at your stuff if you're anything like me and you're like oh that's so gross i need to do that and then a week goes by and then you're like oh that's so gross i need to take care of that if we are not friends on Instagram, make sure you hit me up. It's Andrea Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning channel is one way that I demonstrate that. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out the description box and say hello on Instagram. So I'll just finish up here by rinsing these off.